Have you ever watched two companies who clearly don't like each other suddenly decide they do want to work together after all? Well, welcome back, because today's update is full of surprises just like that. From unlikely partnerships to Aptera's production line coming alive to some strange disappearing updates, wild misconceptions about solar, and even a purple Aptera that stirred up more opinions than I expected, there's a lot to unpack. So, let's get into it. First up, remember when two major automakers couldn't manage to merge? You'd think that would be the end of that relationship. Nope. Turns out they've decided to shift gears and attempt a partnership instead. And this isn't just a handshake and smile deal. This is about critical materials, supply chains, sourcing, sustainability, and the realization that maybe, just maybe, they both need each other more than they'd like to admit. Honestly, after the merger fell through, I thought they'd never talk again. But the auto industry is full of plot twists, and apparently this is one of them. Moving on, if you've ever wondered what's really going on underneath Aptera's sleek shell, there's an incredibly detailed breakdown out there that dives into how the frame is made, why certain design decisions matter, and what those changes mean for durability and safety. And let me tell you, some people look at the body panels and think, lightweight science project. But when you really start unpacking the engineering, you realize just how much thought went into the structural evolution. I love when someone takes the time to decode manufacturing choices, and this breakdown was absolutely one of those, oh wow, moments. Solid work all around. There's also a great progress review that highlights everything Aptera's been quietly, or not so quietly, rolling out lately. It's insightful, a bit opinionated in the best way, and full of context that many people overlook. Sometimes you need someone who can zoom out, connect the dots, and say, here's what this all really means. And that's exactly what this review did. If you want a broader understanding of Aptera's direction, it's worth diving into. Now, let's talk about something that genuinely warmed my nerdy engineering heart. A batch of photos made the rounds online, showing multiple bodies being assembled in parallel. Yes, actual side-by-side -side production activity. It's one thing to hear the company say they're validating their production line, and another to see several bodies being put together at once. In the background of the photo was a little sign marking the very spot I once sat down for an interview. Seeing that familiar location buzzing with activity gave the whole moment an extra layer of excitement. And while I didn't spot the little automated helpers yet, I'm guessing those still need calibration before they join the party. Either way, things are moving. Not hypothetically, not conceptually, physically. And that's a huge milestone. Now here's something odd. During lunch one day, I spotted a short message saying an Aptera update was incoming. Naturally, that sparked a little internal celebration moment, yes, I admit it. But before I could even click the story, it disappeared. Gone. Vanished. No chance to screenshot, share, or rewatch. This tells me two things. They're trying to re-establish a consistent update rhythm. Something wasn't ready, got delayed, or needed to be pulled back internally. And honestly, I get it. I'd love regular updates, but if the choice is between rushed content and actual progress on the vehicle, I'd take progress every single time. Pictures, small clips, tiny glimpses of the factory, those are more than enough to send my imagination into overdrive. Not everyone will agree with that, but personally, I'd rather they focus on getting the vehicle out the door than polishing a weekly video. Every week, a handful of awesome people send me emails with things I might have missed. And this time, someone pointed me toward a fantastic article I hadn't seen yet. It covered Aptera's history in a way that was not only accurate, but impressively comprehensive. A full walkthrough from early beginnings to where the company stands now 
all tied together smoothly. And yes, there was also a purple Aptera included. Not my personal style, but hey, color preferences are subjective, and I get why some folks love it. Overall, though, the article was top tier. Another creator put out a news recap that did a great job pulling together media coverage featuring Aptera. What they're especially good at is catching those smaller news segments that often slip under the radar, the kind of coverage that's easy to miss unless you're paying very close attention. The video itself was pretty standard, but a couple of reaffirmed details made it worth the watch. Sometimes you don't need brand new revelations, just solid confirmations that things are moving in the right direction. And now, my favorite segment of the week. Someone recently put out another debunking video. And yes, I'm using that word whether it officially exists or not. This time, the target was solar misinformation. One of the individuals featured in the misconceptions segment happens to be, let's call him my unintentional mental nemesis. He doesn't know I exist and that's fine but I've learned to avoid his videos unless absolutely necessary. He's smart, no doubt, but when he dives into topics he doesn't fully understand and still speaks like an authority, it drives me up the wall. So watching these misconceptions get corrected properly, deeply satisfying. And that brings us to the end of this week's update. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I always appreciate the support, the comments, and especially the people who send helpful emails with things I missed. You all make these updates possible. Next week, I'm committing, publicly committing, to finally having my support links fully organized. I've dragged my feet on it for longer than I should have, mostly because the setup process feels overwhelming. But next week's news update? It'll be there. Hold me to it. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.